Nachos is Paul, Dr. Nacho. Excited to ju jump on here with you with one of my favorite people, awesome dentist, Instagram uh, guru, and just all around super awesome person, Dr. Desiree Yazdan. Uh, thanks for jumping on with us some Dental Nachos here, Desiree. Of course, I'm so excited. You know, I love everything that you do with the Dental Nachos. Such a big supporter and I guess fan. So thanks for having me. Thanks, and we have your dog here. I don't, I don't have a dog, but you have to. I want to bring someone to thank her for bringing us together. So Farah, wave to everybody. So I do want to say to set up this podcast that uh, always be looking for people who can help you try new things. Sometimes that's me for Dennis, but also I try to do that in my own personal life. So with Dental Nachos, I'm lucky to have Farah's creative director who did an awesome job. Uh, I, when I first uh, started Dental Nachos, like I'm not doing Instagram, I'm too old. I can't do it, but when you when you get that way, you find someone who can help you, and Farah helped us connect, so I'm grateful for that because we've done some great things. But I want to do Instagram, Desiree, uh, but I heard recently you're trying to be like me because you just started a uh, podcast. Tell us a little bit about that. I did. So it's called The Social Dentist, and it's specifically curated for healthcare professionals um, and how they can market their business and grow their social media pages and actually use their social media to increase the profits in their business because you can get followers that are the you know your ideal patient and then transition those followers into actual patients into your business so i think we just point out i like to bring good ideas to dentists and i'm, I'm a big fan of gary i don't know if you've uh, listened to any of gary v's podcast or his book but gary v is someone i'm a fan of and I say this all the time. So when I was a kid, I did not like, like I always, I lived in New Jersey. I drove my car, but I always felt that driving was a waste of time. And I drive to my office. I couldn't get anything done. And now, even though I'm not a celebrity, uh, I can get a, a, my own personal driver called Uber, right? I can get an Uber uh, or a Lyft. And with what we're doing here, a lot of these things, what I think is so cool about Instagram and Facebook is that these are really free services that people can use to, to make their lives easier. So a couple things I want to share with the Dental Nachos world who knows you uh, well, but just in case they're new is, tell us a little about, you run a fee-for-service practice. Tell us how, a little bit about your fee-for-service practice and how you use Instagram to drive patients there. Right, so actually I, uh, I have the fee-for-service practice and as I've told you before, I wish I had met you and known you prior Thanks. to, you know, owning this fee-for-service practice. But anyways, I love my business. Um, so. I am a general dentist, but I focus mostly on cosmetics, and it's something I really love, I'm passionate about, my patients seem really happy with my work, so I just continue to do it on and on and on, and then anything that I don't do, I have a specialist that will kind of come in and help me do those types of procedures. Um, so the way Instagram um, developed my practice is, as you know, when I first bought into my business, um, I had a really scary situation and kind of lost the business overnight. So um, my business partner decided that she was no longer going to practice dentistry and she left the business unannounced to me while I was. That's crazy. I mean, I, I commend you in many ways, Desiree, as I get to know you, you know, we'll talk about you coming to uh, doing your first speaking gig while pregnant, but you needed a lot of resiliency to overcome that scenario. And I think it's just a good yeah. message for two of us as you know, I know you're younger than me, but you know, dentists who have been doing this a little bit, how important it is to just dig into the nacho plate of your big decisions and look for advisors. And I'm actually not really criticizing you because one thing that I share is people don't even know that these people exist, right? Like, exactly. you know, yeah. it's, it I, wasn't I, like you. <laughs> and to go beyond that, I thought that I had taken all the right steps. I had hired all the right people. I had hired attorneys, I had hired accountants, like everybody to do the evaluations. I included as many people in my family to kind of look at everything the best I could. And then it just didn't go, you know, nobody saw this happening. And had I been listening to Dental Amigos, had I known you, I would have had a little bit, I think I would have been able to see it coming a little bit better. One of the things that I think it, I think it bonds are what we do together. And, you know, I do this buyer coaching and it doesn't mean that people has to hire me forever and fire. You can share the, the link for it. But what I do is you have accountants, you have attorneys, they're like specialists, right? But you need a general dentist. And a lot of times I just want to hear the story and practice transitions are about people, not about numbers. And, you know, just like with 
just like with Instagram, as you, you try to connect sharing with people, I'm just here to try to help Dennis say, does this sound like a good idea or not such a good idea from the inside? So uh, I appreciate you sharing that. So now as you're getting your business back uh, running, which is tough, right. tell us how so Instagram is going to help to you. It started by, you know, I, I went from having a great income and lots of production in a business to having nothing and then having to support those employees, pay my rent. And now it's like, well, I have no income because I, I have yeah. no patience. So I didn't have a marketing budget. So I was like, okay, what am I going to use? So I turned to social media, mostly Instagram and also included Facebook in that. And I was like, well, I'm just going to find a way to make this work for me because it's all I have. It's my last shot at giving this, you know, business a go. And I, through years of trial and error, I actually figured out that there's a formula that works. And you can attract patients into your business. So for me, I get anywhere between 30 to 50 new patients a month in my business. And most of them sign up for treatment. Even if they don't sign up right away, they'll sign yeah. up at some point. And the nice thing about social media is when you're constantly on there and you're posting, people get to know you. So when they come to consult with you, it's not like they're consulting just randomly. They've already examined everything that you're doing. They've followed you, they've watched you, and they've kind of decided, okay, I want treatment with this person and I'm gonna have treatment with this person. I just wanna know what the next steps are. So the consults are less of me selling myself, I guess, and more of me getting like having the patient understand how they can get from point A to point B with all their options. I mean, I, I, you said so many great things there. I just want to highlight uh, to Jeff, definitely. I mean, I'm tagged Jeff and Nicole. I, I want to tag my office team in that you just need to be doing a little bit each day. And, you know, it's, it's overwhelming to think, how can I go from nothing to Desiree? Well, you went from nothing to Desiree, you know, by doing it every day. How can I become as good a nacho eater as me? Very difficult, but you have to practice each day. Uh, and I just love that message for Dennis because – this is your business, this is your career. And I did a poll on Del Nachos recently, like, hey, who's using Instagram? And I get it, it's overwhelming how to start. So let's just, you know, if you could share a little value with Dental Nachos, Desiree, let's say you're a dental office, you're a 41 year old owner like me, you have four operatories, a good practice, a nice little team, and you say, you know what, I wanna just get started. I don't know how to turn Instagram on, on my phone. What would you recommend, like the starting steps? Because I love, the first couple steps, you know, first implant, first practice. Tell us like first couple steps. Okay, so first, if you don't have Instagram on your phone, you're gonna download the app. <laughs> okay, download, download the app. Make a username. So when it comes to your handle, you wanna choose something that's easy. Like you don't wanna have a bunch of periods and underscores, you just want it to be okay. simple. And then I, the profile photo is important. You wanna have a photo of yourself and, um, you smiling, preferably maybe looking into the camera so people can make a connection between you and them, you know, so they can, yeah. you know, like, yeah, I'm talking to a person, not just a business. And then your bio is really important. So it's the first thing people see when they land on your page and it's going to determine if they're going to continue scrolling or if they're just going right. to go on to the next person. So the bio is really important. You want to make it sweet, short, and to the point. So I think of it as your elevator pitch. So if you and I were to get on an elevator and I said, hey, Paul, what do you do? You better tell me before we get from floor one to floor four what you do in a few sentences. So that way I understand, you know, if you're like, well, I love travel and post about traveling and I, I really like food and yeah, I like dental nachos too. Oh, I'm also a dentist. I'm going to be really confused. Like, okay, so do you are you traveling? Are you a dentist? Like, what? what is it? I love that. You know, it's a couple quick stories. And I want to uh, tag Kyle Prescott. So my personal trainer to try to battle this dad bod of the nachos. We're talking this morning. And he had the nacho shirt on with a client. And I thought this was cool. One of his clients said, I've seen these shirts around Philadelphia. What is dental nachos? And I did a bad job because he didn't really know. And even though we've done all these sessions, so actually my uh, – um, uh, growth, uh, strategic growth person, Brandon, has helped me develop like dental nachos is helping dentists at every stage of their career be successful because now he can, he can repeat that. I was saying he should develop something. Hey, I'm someone who helps successful and busy people be less stressed. 
And I think that's so key, what you just said, because we have people to say the what in a quick term, because people don't know what it is. And I suggest this, I'm going out to eat later tonight. Uh, you, you saw Dr. Todd Fleischman at my course uh, with Mary, my wife, who you guys become friendly. And uh, his wife, <laughs> and I, I thank you, it, it'll be a, a, a real a parent's night out. And you'll see when you have a child, these nights are so are golden. Um, but when, if Mary goes to a restaurant, she takes a while to decide what she wants to eat. She would like to walk around and look at everybody's table before she decides. And if it was appropriate, she would take a bite of food from each person's table so she could make a good decision. And it's very dentist. So with Instagram, I would suggest, you know, and I'm not asking you, at least make your profile and watch and check around and see what profiles uh, speak to you. Because I've learned a lot just by scrolling around on Instagram and following people of health, nutrition, comedy, uh, all types of different people. So I think that's, that, that is great. Well, I think those are great starter points. Uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, as I, I love collaborating with what you do, Desiree, helping sponsor the uh, things that we do at Dental Nachos. Tell us about the webinar that you have that you're going to be sharing with people on August 29th. So I have a webinar. It's called um, The Three Behind the Seeds Secrets for Healthcare Professionals to basically increase profits in your business without spending all day on your phone. And it's literally how to build a brand online, to use Instagram to promote your business, and then transition the followers that you have and obtain new followers that are actually potential patients of yours, and then transition them into actual patients in your office that will come in sign up for treatment, spend their money with you, choose you as their healthcare professional. And like I said, there's a there's an art to it. There's a science to it. It's not just throw spaghetti on the wall and see what sticks. So now after all these years, I've figured it out. And so I have a free webinar. I'm sharing that with everybody. And I'm sure you'll post the link, but just if people want it, well, I'll let you guys post the link. So yeah, we'll post the link in the comments here and share that. And one of the things that's great, and I, and I like this new business model, and I use this a lot myself, Desiree, where you share something complimentary with people because it lets people see, you know, they have this free workout, free this, to see if yeah. it fits and it feels right. But I encourage my audience, sign up your office manager, sign up your lead assistant. Yeah. It, 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 in a male-dominated culture still, as it's changing, a lot of times these touches, when I'm lucky to have a, I'll want to post something, if I says we got to change it a little bit, that's the feedback you want. I mean, it's the same way in your office where you get opinions on someone. So sign up your office manager because the value deliver for people to tell them what to do, they can use for the remainder of their career through some of your, your training programs. And in this Gary V culture, Culture, and maybe it'll change one day, Desiree, but it seems to me just so fortunate that a lot of this is totally free to use as the user. Exactly. And that's how I feel about your podcast. I know you posted something, I think yesterday, and I reposted it and I was like, this is free information. Like, I wish I had <laughs> this information. So I'm like, you better take the time to go sign up for this free seminar because I wish I had that, you know, it's free, you know, and it's the best thing. I, to and I, have a, I joke with my, I run through a lot of emails and someone will say, I want to get this course. And I say, yes, yeah, complimentary, but you don't get any refunds. And I just joke because, you know, this is, I love this sharing information. And then there's deeper things where people have, uh, you know, more strategic or more involved training programs. That's no different than personal training. You're at the gym, you get a personal trainer. So I appreciate you sharing that with us. Yeah. Um, I want to ask you something, Desiree, that I'm proud of, and I'm, I'm, I'm more proud of you, but I'm proud of I get to do it. So you got to speak for your really first big time in yeah. Philadelphia, yeah. and my goal is to develop speakers, especially uh, female speakers, because, you know, sometimes people say, Paul, you only have guys on your panel. I said, well, there's not that many female speakers, <laughs> but I want to develop more. And you did an awesome job. Uh, tell us about your experience speaking at Dennis and Team Boost. Was it easier than you thought, more difficult, uh, uh, the audience just share. I think people would like to hear that. So for me personally, it was so pleasant because you make the experience really, really beautiful and wonderful. I'm sure as a participant and also as a speaker, it was just fantastic. So the one thing that I've really learned over the years, besides the fact that I do like speaking, so I was really thankful for the opportunity, but it's so important to be involved in like local CE courses and yeah. to just get the information. So it was nice to see how many people came out and connecting with people in person, even for me as a speaker. 
And even though, you know, I only spoke for a little bit of time on stage, but then behind the scenes, it's like I made connections with people that I would have never met if I, if it wasn't for that. And I think that's part of the biggest deal, but you made the experience really wonderful. Yeah. And that's what I appreciate you said, that's what I'm going for in that when you go to a C course and we really need to encourage our, our 25, 35, 45 year old dentist, you and I do so many things online and I love online. And I love Facebook and Instagram, but going to things face to face locally is so important to strengthen the dentist and community two reasons one resources somebody goes out on maternity leave that's something you're thinking dealing with maybe i need someone to cover secondly just a little tip or trick that you might find out someone else is doing at their office about instagram and thirdly you know this is what gives us you know positive reinforcement to see our other people the dentist share i mean no one knows what it's like to be a dentist besides a dentist so we can share all the things we do. So I appreciate Desiree, you're an awesome resource. Before we jump off, just remind us everyone again, and Farah put it in, how do they sign up for the webinar? We have the link in there and it's what, when is it gonna be? So the webinar, so there's two times you guys can choose from. It's Thursday, awesome. next Thursday, August 29th at, well, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So 4 p.m. in Philly okay. time. And then also 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So 9 p.m. Nice. Um, yeah, you, you can watch that. And I, I, I think August 29th, two times there. So we'll drop those links in. Desiree, yeah. thanks for being such a great supporter, podcast for. I can't wait to listen to your podcast. And Nacho Group, go, go enjoy uh, your Thursday uh, uh, afternoon or early evening. And thanks for being with us, Desiree. Thank you for having me. See you soon. See you guys, Nachos. Mm -hmm.